Good afternoon. This is Todd Draper with NITO. Today we're going to talk about next-gen firewalls and UTM firewalls, as well as our firewall product set, uh, including firewalls and then built-in features on our SD-WAN uh, NITEL Connect. Today we have on the agenda, uh, really we have the ability to provide three different levels of firewall protection. Uh, as you're aware out there, the different kinds of firewall offerings uh, that are really out in the field are the stateful firewall. That's just the classic firewall that's been around for years. And then really where the industry has moved to is you'll see it uh, labeled as NGFW or next generation firewall. We'll talk about those product sets uh, here in a moment. And then the highest level of firewall out there is your UTM or your unified threat management. Uh, that's going to give you that extra level of firewall protection. Within our firewall product set, we really focus on about four different uh, major firewalls here. Uh, first off, we have the uh, Cisco firewalls, um, everything from you know the Cisco ASAs all the way up to the SD-WAN capabilities that now include those full firewall feature sets that I talked about earlier. So the firewalls can be any different level of stateful firewall, through unified threat management, including that built-in software on the SD-WAN appliances as well. Uh, we also have the, uh, the Versa. The Versa is more of an SD-WAN play. It does include a stateful firewall, as we have listed up above there. And it does have the ability to go up a little higher on those level levels of firewall. We like the stateful firewall on Versa uh, as that SD-WAN play. Uh, we also have Barracuda. Uh, now, the Barracuda is really nice all-in-one appliance. Uh, again, it can be your standalone firewall or it can uh, utilize the SD-WAN capabilities with that next-gen firewall in there as well. And then we have the uh, what's kind of known as the Cadillac of firewalls out there, and those are the Palo Altos. And for all these appliances, and, and really depending on the flavor, uh, we have the ability to uh, give you both local drains to the Internet. We can go very cloud-centric as well with all these firewall designs. So let's first talk about uh, stateful firewall features. So when I say stateful firewall, these were the firewalls that have been around for years and years, commonly known as, you know, a Cisco ASA that was out there in the beginning time. Uh, they're basically just your, you know, your basic classic firewall features and functionalities. It's going to deny traffic coming into your environment. It's just going to really protect your zone and endpoint uh, based stateful firewall protection and that simply allow, deny, reject. And again, that one has been around there for a very long time, what everybody was used to for years. Now where the industry has really changed and improved is what you hear is those next gen firewall features. And this is really today's modern next level of firewall. Uh, it includes everything that was in that stateful firewall, uh, all those features and protections, the allow, reject, deny. But now uh, these firewalls include added features and also additional reporting too. So some of those features that you'll see out there on these next-gen firewalls is your IP uh, reputation. And you know, shown right here, that's your protection against your, you know, your 12 million plus malicious IP addresses. Uh, a lot of these firewalls now and some of the SD-WAN capabilities with the firewalls uh, actually even have zero day protection too. So uh, you know, let's say, um, if Barracuda uh, learns of a new malicious IP or web address, they actually download that through our controllers, and then we can non-intrusively push those updates down to our customers as well. So while they might learn of other uh, malicious items through another uh, customer unrelated to us, they do upload it. We can push it down. Uh, these next-gen firewall features also include protection threat types, uh, you know, against your, your, your common attacks out there, your common web attacks, phishing, botnets. Uh, there's always a level of DOS protection in there, um, you know, scanners, spam sources, and mobile threats as well. Uh, also, a really major feature of the next-gen firewalls is URL filtering or URL classifications. And what that's doing is, that's taking the internet search categories that are out there, and now we have the ability to control them. So uh, 
they're typically about, uh, depending on the platform, you know, 80 to 100 different types of URL categories out there. And, and those are the things that we're very familiar with, you know, business and economy, uh, sports, um, social networking. But then it also includes things like adult sites and gambling sites and then marijuana sites. So now we have the ability to completely blacklist entire sites to say, you know what, uh, we already know that you don't want your employees going to adult sites and gambling sites. So we can easily blacklist entire sites there to really give you that extra layer of protection. And it also gives us the ability, if, if we have a customer that wants to walk through all 96 sites out there, choose which categories they want to allow or deny, we allow that customization. And then for the customers that might not be that tech savvy, we also have a very nice default profile that we can set up for the customers where we already know those, you know, 10 to 12 uh, groupings that we want to go ahead and block. Uh, geolocation is also common now, and that's the ability to actually add or remove different countries to the environment. So the ability to now drill down and see I have traffic or my employees going to Chinese websites or Russian websites. So now we have the ability to define those traffic flows that they're actually going to China. And, you know, if you're a U.S. centric based company, I would say, you know, why don't we go ahead and block those countries out for you? Why have your employees go to Chinese websites or Russian websites? And in many cases, it doesn't have to be all or nothing. So you could technically still allow maybe your users to go to those sites, but you don't want those IPs coming back into your environment. We also have now with the next gen firewall features, uh, that extra user information. So it's now starting to break down your bandwidth and analytics or simply look into what that actual end user is doing and whether that's by that end user's IP. Uh, some of these products do have a uh, full incorporation into your Active Directory. So that's the ability to take that IP that's sitting out there, translate it to a name. So essentially, hey, you know what Mark at Nitel is doing here and, and you can take that deeper dive uh, and look into those analytics uh, on a daily basis there as well. Uh, within that Active Directory, uh, some of these product sets also allow you to do different groupings for different departments to say, you know what, I'm going to let the uh, marketing department go to social media websites, but I don't want these other departments to go to social media. So just that din dynamic capability and customization now through these next-gen firewall feature sets, um, also, a huge one out there now is your application identification and, and shaping. So these firewalls are now identifying all the way down to the layer seven level, the application level. So you can now clearly see your Office 365, your Salesforce, your voice or your SIP traffic, and then also identify things like Netflix and Facebook. And now we have the ability to control these applications and also traffic shape them. So you know, right now, the number one application we block out there is Netflix, because for, you know, most customers, it's bandwidth intensive. It doesn't have much of a business purpose. So we can actually take Netflix blacklisted on these environments. But what we can also do is we can also traffic shape something. So uh, within these capabilities, we can say, you know, the other one, I, I tend to use an example uh, from real, real world uh, applications is Apple Updates. They can be very intrusive to an environment. They can come down during the middle of the day. So we can actually uh, say, you know what, I don't want my Apple updates on my primary circuit. I'm going to put those updates on that secondary circuit on that firewall or that application or set it up as a time frame there as well. Uh, most of these next-gen firewalls uh, today also include uh, very dynamic customer-facing portals, they have analytics, they have reporting capabilities. You can watch them and monitor them in live time. And, and that's really that extra feature set of the next gen firewalls to not only have those capabilities, but actually to watch the live monitoring and reporting. And then thirdly, we have uh, now within the industry, what's known as UTM, you hired out there. That's your unified threat management. Uh, within that firewall feature set, uh, it includes everything we just talked about for before, typically. You're going to get that standard stateful firewall built in there. You're going to get those next-gen features and protections. But now with the UTM, what that's going to include is your IDS, your IPS, which is your intrusion detection, intrusion prevention, 
uh, which help attacks within your environment, as well as that extra level of antivirus and anti-malware protection. Uh, those are typically add-ons. Uh, most of the firewalls uh, out there now have these feature sets, and, and we're able to give our customers different tiers now on what kind of protection you want. You know, the best practice out there right now is, is to obviously layer on that full UTM feature set within your firewall. Now, within our Nitel Connect Firewall product set, I, I, I want to touch base again a little bit on what we have to offer. I touched on it in a moment in the beginning. Uh, within the Cisco environment, we obviously, again, have those Cisco ASAs. Uh, we also have the Cisco SD-WAN capabilities now uh, featuring uh, the Cisco Viptela, the Cisco ISRs, the ASRs. Uh, the Cisco have the ability to uh, have that next-gen firewall feature and that UTM firewall feature set. Versa I also talked about earlier. Now, the difference between Versa and Cisco is Versa is just a strict SD-WAN only play. So typically, we're probably going to pair the Versa maybe with something in the cloud like a Palo Alto, but I just want to make sure that everybody understands uh, out there that part of the Versa product set, it does have some stateful firewall protection. It does have actually a little higher firewall protection than that as well. I uh, just wanted to point that out. Uh, the Barracudas, again, the Barracuda is a very flexible device. Uh, we use the Barracudas. Uh, many different designs. We can use them as a strict SD-WAN play. You're going to get a next-gen firewall feature set. Uh, the Barracuda has one add-on. Um, instead of UTM, what Barracuda calls it is ATP, or your advanced threat protection, and that's going to, again, give you those similar capabilities, the IDS, the IPS, the antivirus, the anti-malware. Uh, the Barracuda we can use uh, also as a simply standalone firewall. So if you have one location, uh, the Barracuda is an excellent firewall for that single location if you want to go cloud-centric or maybe use the Barracuda as a VPN appliance in the cloud and your firewall, we can do that as well. And then the Palo Altos. Uh, obviously, the, the, the Palo is a fantastic firewall that's out there right now. Uh, we can do premise-based or cloud-based on that. Uh, the Palos do have the full firewall feature set going all the way up to that unified uh, threat protection. Uh, typically, a customer design uh, with the Palos is to go very cloud-centric in their data centers or the Nitel core pops to drain out locally there. Uh, but just an excellent firewall feature set. And the big takeaway I want you to have here is, again, our designs are very customizable. We're going to get your sales engineer involved right away. They're going to start to determine what uh, what's the best fit for you. And then now we have different price points, too. So we have different feature sets and different price points on these firewalls. So I just wanted to thank everybody's time today uh, on the SD-WAN firewall presentation. And please let me know if you have any questions or concerns.